COVID-19 has completely changed our lives. We wear masks every time we go out. Instead of going to work, we have online meetings at home. Patrolling around the beach, heat sensing drones prevent people from crowding at one place. AI collects the moving route information of COVID-19 confirmed patients and analyzes them into spatial data to predict, predict the number of patients in the future. COVID-19 is a rubricant for digitalization. Infect infectious diseases call for physical distance among people but people are interdependent and urban populations steadily increase. Before COVID-19, smart city was deemed as one of the means to alleviate various urban problems caused by the increase of urban population. Amid COVID-19, it is easy to witness a, a variety of conflicts in many cities. Some people value personal freedom and their rights, while other people value safety for their community. The difference leads to conflict. Which side you are in, we all feel the anxiety of a survivor. However, we will move in the direction of coexistence eventually. I claim that um, smart city is one of the ways. After COVID-19, smart city will function as a solution to simultaneously pro protect individuals and communities from infectious disease and secure new daily life. Smart city will become the arena of new normal. Unfortunately, it is not easy to implement smart cities. Since the beginning of the 21st century, smart cities has become a favorite concept all over the world. Lots of cities have tried to implement smart cities. However, there is neither an agreed definition nor a perfect model of smart city. This study aims to examine comprehensively the impediments to driving smart cities through the case of South Korea. First, why is it South Korea? Korea is a good laboratory for smart cities because Korea is a country that has digi digital competence. Korea has been top blanket for internet access, digital innovation, and telecommunication device production. Moreover, Korea is the first country to enact a law on smart city. The Korean government has financially supported for R&D. Korea is institutionally, financially, and technologically ready to do it. However, in 2021, Korea doesn't have a successful case and it's a smart city model. Second, to derive the impediments to smart cities, I and my team conducted focus group interviews. The participants are um, researchers from, from public institutes and a professor who participated in the design of the smart city comprehensive plans and rela related policies. And a public official in charge of a smart city pro project, a developer participating in the smart city projects and a professor in the field of smart city. All of them are part of the history of smart cities in Korea. 
the FGIs were held twice and around three hours each. Um, third, what are the impediments? They were identified in four fields, technology, industry, government, and society. Each is a reciprocal and organic rather than sporadic and separate. Number one, technology. There is a gap between smart technologies and services. Smart cities that we imagine is difficult to implement in reality. High expectations for smart cities lower the support for smart city policies. B, privacy and security. Smart cities need personal data to provide customized services. And there was, there has always been flux looking for information. There's not a perfect way to protect personal information and prevent cyber attacks. C, the matter of less data accuracy is related to um, A. Data accuracy affects the quality of smart city services. If the quality of the services is low, um, it isn't easy to sustain smart city services. Number two, industry. The ordering system for smart city projects um, is not innovative. It is government initiative. Therefore, the relation between governments and other actors is order bidding, not a partnership. Officials in charge of smart cities um, manage them based on cost efficiency. As a result, innovative companies prevent from working for the public sector. B, large and or platform companies monopoly smart city projects in Korea. Smart cities require collaboration with various fields and these companies have already met the requirements. It is hard for small companies to enter this system. C, smart services are not long lasting. In Korea, smart city projects are mainly focused on um, infrastructure construction, not the persistence of services. The budget for a smart city is allocated for um, infrastructure construction and maintenance costs, including um, smart services, should be met um, by the revenue um, generated through the operation. Um, number three, government. Local governments lack the systems and capacity to drive smart cities. Since 2019, the central government has encouraged uh, local governments and companies, uh, private companies to propose projects. However, um, the central government still deeply involves in all plans and decision making. There is no dedicated organization. These two conditions made a vicious cycle. Um, central government plays more roles and weakens local governments and private sectors. B, um, Korea has revised the relevant uh, laws and regulation relaxation. It usually takes two years to revise it. However, um, as technology development is much faster than the revision, it is no more effective two years later. See, there is the problem of um, residency of budgeting and business operations. In Korea, smart city was a part of new town development project from the from the first 
plan for U City in 2009. New towns are profitable place. The more profit was expected, the more companies invested. As a result, there was a regional imbalance between old and new towns. Number four, inactive citizen participation is always pointed out as a problem. Government tends to consider civic, uh, civic participation as a formality, not an important process. On the other hand, it is it is quite difficult to specify citizen to participate in. It can be residents, workers in the area, and stakeholders. Due to um, these disturbances, citizen participation is um, inactive. Um, smart city smart services provide provide information through digital devices. Some classes have none of them or just to have old ones. It is not easy for them to access the services while others do. And the gap makes digital divide. C, uh, expansion of smart services has uh, led to conflicts with existing um, industries. When new smart business emerge, friction with um, existing business owners is inevitable. Although the disputes have repeatedly occurred in Korea, the government is yet to prepare for the situation. Lastly, uh, why do these impediments occur? Three policy characteristics causes them. One, performance-based policy. Two, efficiency-oriented policies. And three, policy that has less understanding of the technology ecosystem. Based on these standards, the impediments are reshuffled as shown on the page. Performance-based policy. Major technologies related to smart cities such as big data and AI are time consuming. However, the government demands a visible result that can be shown within its term of office. This situation inevitably reduces technological development and service sustainability. And the smart city policy is focused on construction that can uh, produce short-term results. Two, effectiveness-oriented policy. Uh, it in, in, Prices the government led promotion and monopoly of large corporations. These help to build smart cities fast and less expensive. Three, policy that less understanding of technology ecosystem. Um, public officials who are in charge of smart city projects lack technical expertise and less understand changes by technology. It is required the comprehensive understanding of the technology ecosystem. Smart city is not a place for um, SF movies, but people and their lives. I hope that um, interested, interest in smart cities expands not only in technology, but also in various fields of life. Thank you.